it seems um, a little bit low tech at first uh, sight, but we're actually going to be talking briefly in this video about RSS. Now, not uh, about what it is um, or how you can syndicate your content as we've looked at in other videos, but we're actually going to revisit what uh, is actually a relatively old technology insofar as it's been around for quite a while, but it's a technology that we feel at least is really coming of age. Coming of age not in terms of um, how it works, because essentially it works the same now as it did some years ago, but in terms of the user experience. You see, when you first started using RSS some years ago, you would have found that there were services like Atom and Reader, Google Reader and so on. Um, pretty uh, bland user experiences and you had to go to what was essentially an online uh, email client or an offline client in some cases and sort of trawl through your list of feeds and it was still not the best experience but with the proliferation of uh, web 2.0 applications with um, obviously much more in the way of offline applications mobile phone software things like iphone apps uh, blackberry apps and so on and there are a lot of different ways in which people can deliver rss content to us and they're they're getting more sophisticated more enjoyable as far as the user experience is concerned and so we thought it useful just to revisit this because a lot of people uh, myself included really didn't much buy into RSS as a source of getting my regular information from. There's also, I think, um, an argument to say that the quality of writing on blogs over the last few years has increased exponentially. There are so many blogs out there, of course, that the, uh, the competition to uh, get to the top of the pile in terms of blog content is massive. And so you're finding that people are having to work harder, create better content, combine that with better delivery of that content via RSS as a technology. Uh, and you're getting quite a compelling reason to take a second look at RSS. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a, um, a piece of software online, a system online called Tabloid. Now Tabloid uh, is actually brought to you by HP. It's a free service, okay? So you don't need to pay a cent to use this. And as you can see uh, from the three-step um, illustration here, um, you basically can choose your feeds, uh, set what schedule you want those uh, the aggregated content to be delivered to you on um, and then um, you get a, a really neatly laid out almost tabloid newspaper style uh, publication that you can print uh, and enjoy at your leisure. Now it's certainly something that uh, we use very regularly and uh, we figured it would be worth um, sharing this with you. Um, so what we're going to do we're just going to quickly set up a tabloid account and I'm going to demonstrate to you um, how you can actually um, you know what you actually get as a result so the first thing you're going to do when you arrive at tabloid.com, you can see the URL up here, t a b b l o i d dot com. Um, you're going to click the Create Tabloid button just here in the the lower centre of the screen. And so if I go ahead and uh, click that now, we're going to be asked for some information. Now this is pretty much it to Tabloid. It's not the most complicated uh, proposition. Basically, you have three areas. You have the area that you can select um, your feed list, either a pre-populated feed list or add your own. Um, you have an area uh, in which you can see your current subscriptions, that is your feed subscriptions, and then some delivery options, three parts to this screen. Very nice and simple, right? So the first thing we need to do is to specify our details, that is the detail, um, the email address to which we would like our tabloid PDF delivering uh, and the frequency um, and also some uh, some time details. So I'm going to go ahead and enter some information here. And I'm going to specify a frequency that I would like my tabloid delivering to me of daily. Um, and I'm going to specify a time uh, let's say I want it there for when I start work, say a little bit before at 7 p.m., uh, 7 p.m., 7 a.m., I should say. Um, that's a late start, 7 p.m. Um, time zone, uh, you specify your time zone. And once you're happy with those settings, you just need to go ahead and click the Save Delivery Options. Okay, now you can see a message appeared right away there saying, Check your email to activate. So we actually do have to pop over to our email client right now just to validate this account that we're setting up uh, and to sort of confirm that, yes, this is a legitimate use of the service. So I'm going to just call open that email for you to take a look at. I'll go grab it and bring it to the uh, the screen just now. 
Okay, so um, I've just grabbed that email and brought it on screen. Not the most um, uh, verbose email, it's pretty functional. Um, and um, all you need to do basically is click the activate link. So I'll click that link and we should see, there we go. And um, the page is refreshed and says email confirmed. So it's just confirmed that that is uh, now subscribed. And in fact, you can also see there's an unsubscribe option if you ever wanted to turn it off. Okay, so now we set the delivery options. That was painless enough. We now just need to set some feeds. Now, we can basically um, have a starting list, which is really useful. So if you're interested in one of these um, four topics, e.g. technology, business, politics, or sports, you can just go ahead and click one of those now, uh, and it'll pre-populate your subscriptions with a default set of feeds, to which you can then add your own. So I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that and just go with the technology one for now. I'm going to click the technology list, um, and there we see three feeds appeared, TechCrunch, GigaOM, and All Things Digital, three very popular technology feeds. What I'll do as well, just very quickly, is demonstrate how you can add your own feeds. And you could add as many as you want, pretty much. I haven't uh, maxed out. I'm on about 30 feeds on my uh, my personal list at the moment. Um, and it seems, seems that they all uh, come through fine. So I'm going to take you to um, a website and show you how you could subscribe to a feed from that website and have that add to your subscriptions here. So let's just open another tab here. And I'm going to head to another popular blog called mashable.com good for sort of technology stuff uh, social media stuff um, we'll see as per most blogs somewhere on the page you'll see a an rss feed icon remember the one we saw just a moment ago when we started the presentation well uh, on this particular page it's really easy to to find the rss feed um, it's actually over here on the right hand side uh, there we can see the uh, the logo is nice and clear um, and on some sites it's further at the top some sites have it on the right hand side halfway down just basically what you're looking for is uh, something along those lines that rss feed icon that's the universal rss feed icon okay and when you find that icon just right click on the icon and and copy the link address okay that's going to copy the the link to which that feed icon was pointing to your clipboard and having copied that to my clipboard i just drop back to tabloid and then paste that right into the box just there. You can see there's the feed, I've just pasted it in. And with that pasted in, I'm just gonna go ahead and click the add button. We'll get a confirmation from, um, from the uh, tabloid system saying you're subscribing to this feed, are we sure? Yes, we are, so we click yes. And simple, there it is on the right hand side. Okay, so that's it. We can save our setup if we want just by clicking the save delivery options. Um, you can see it's saved and that's it now every day on that uh, daily frequency to this email address that we've entered we will now be sent a composite or an aggregated um, list of the new posts on these blogs okay on these particular uh, sites okay they may be websites they may be blogs uh, basically uh, at the other end of these feed urls okay um, and if you want to see what's going to come through basically you will get an email from tabloid with an attachment and uh, on that attachment, to that the, in that uh, that attachment will basically be a PDF, and you can generate an example um, of what that PDF will look like just by clicking the Generate Sample Issue button. And uh, Tabloid now is just generating one of those PDFs for me right now, based on today's information on those feeds that I've selected. So we just wait one second, and there we have it. The um, PDF there. I'll just zoom out a little bit just to get a bit of a, um, a, a view of the uh, the layout there. And you can see as I scroll through it, it's laid it out uh, almost like a journal or a magazine um, featuring the posts, uh, the new posts across those um, across those different feeds, those blogs. So uh, it's a really neat way of uh, grabbing content automatically and, and, and in this case having that content delivered to uh, your inbox automatically. What I do personally is print this out each morning um, just very quickly and then I can skim through it, read it. Once I'm happy that I'm, I'm up to date, I, uh, I put it in the, the recycle bins. In literally in five minutes that it takes to skim read through, uh, through this tabloid edition, I'm up to date in my industry. So it's a great way to acquire new knowledge uh, about what's going on in your marketplace. Uh, it takes literally a few minutes to uh, set up as you saw, it's free, uh, and I recommend you um, take advantage of it. It's so, uh, so hopefully um, that's going to uh, help you use RSS in a really intuitive, um, user-friendly way. And so I hope this video has been of some use to you.